Hello guys and gals, Lloyd Dobson coming to you from Southwest Florida. If you're looking at the screen, it says best way to sell art on the internet with a blog website. A great way to share your art with the world is to create an art blog. Now, you can even sell artworks to people who visit your blog or offer to create custom art such as portraits and so forth for people who are interested in hiring you as a commissioned artist. In many ways, guys and gals, creating an art blog is just like creating any other blog except the content of the blog will consist of more images and the blog will follow a more creative theme that depicts your own style of work. So first of all, you want to sign up for a blogging service. The most popular services are Blogger and WordPress, but there are many other services available out there as well. Some of these services are completely free to use, such as Blogger and WordPress, while others may require you to purchase a domain, your blog address, or pay a fee for hosting, like, uh, you know, for online storage space. Now, here's also another site that I would recommend, and that would be going to http colon forward slash forward slash bit.ly forward slash create free website and use a capital letter on C, F, and W. Again, that's bit.ly create free website. All right, and then next, you're going to start creating your art blog just as you would create any other type of blog. When you use any blogging service to create the blog, you'll be asked to choose the following blog attributes. One is a blog URL. The URL is also known as the domain address. All right, the second thing is the blog name. Ideally, the name of your blog should match the main keyword used in your blog's domain address. Now, I use Lloyd Dobson Artist for my domain name and blog website name. And you can go out and Google Lloyd Dobson Artist, and you're going to see why, because I'm out there with a lot of content. And certainly with all that content, it drives traffic to my website blog. The third thing is you're going to want to pick a template. The template basically determines the design of your blog and how content should be displayed within it. The template should match the theme of your blog or the style of art that will be displayed on it. One of the things that you're going to be asked is the font. The font refers to how the letters, numbers, and punctuations will be displayed on your blog. You'll also be asked about a color scheme. Each template has a color scheme that specifies the color of the background and also the color of other design elements such as the header and menu bars. Also, a lot of the websites out there, blogs, will also allow you to use a background image. At times you may be allowed to select a background image other than what they use for your blog. Next, you're going to start writing blog posts so people have something to read when they visit your blog. Here's some ideas to help you get started. Create content that is unique. Being an artist is all about being different and expressing who you are. You're also going to want to share some personal stories so people can relate to your work. You're going to want to proofread each blog post before publishing to minimize any errors that may make your blog less appealing. You're going to want to also brand your images if you want to prevent others from copying the images from your blog and using them without your permission. Here are two methods of branding that you may want to consider. One is to add your signature to the images that you want to brand. For example, I use my LloydDobsonArtist.com. Another suggestion would be to create watermarks. Watermarks are a more effective method of branding because they cover the whole canvas area occupied by the image. The watermark can be a faded texture or symbol and can be made using an image editing software such as Adobe Photoshop by creating a new top layer containing the texture or symbol and then increasing its transparency. 
and certainly you're going to want to add images to create an art blog that is visually stimulating. Of course, people want you to share your art on your blog or at least see your style of work. And absolutely, adding images is even more crucial if you want to sell artworks or encourage people to hire you as an artist to create custom art because your customers will want to know more about the products or services that they are paying for. There are a few methods that you can use to add images. One of the ways is you can make slideshows. Websites such as Kizoa, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Photoshack let you upload images and then choose from different themes and styles to create your own slideshows. All right, guys and gals, I thank you very much for your time. And if you want more information about website blogging or marketing your artwork online or offline, then certainly go to my website, LloydDobsonArtist.com. I'm going to leave you with this thought. Remember, it is not what you know, but what you do with what you know. Again, I thank you, and I'll catch you out on the web, or I'll catch you out on the beach. <laughs>